Hey guys, McSun here with a reaction video that was brought to my attention by a member of my Discord server here. Hardcore Mecha campaign mode first announcement. First announcing. Alright then, and I'm always good for hard for some mech games and I bought the mech edition for Left Alive. Now I don't regret that because the toy it came out with was pretty nice. Was very nice actually. I like it and all the other stuff. It's not. It's a very nice art book and everything. And I'll do an, And I'll have to uh, post my unboxing video of that in the future. The game itself, though, I have heard is just wow. To the point where even Japan, they have made it so st Japanese streamers can't stream their gameplay of that. Wow, it's that bad, apparently. Yeah, okay, something tells me I'll have to, if once I play this game, I'll have to play From Mission Evolve and some of the other games I've got just to clean my mouth with a bad taste. Oh god, and this does and it will make me like scared about what's gonna happen for the front mission franchise because I liked From Mission. And hey, I even like the mechs. It's the mechs are, the mechs are like what would happen if Eastern mechanical designers and everything like that, people who make mechs, design mechs with Western sensibilities in mind. Now, as you guys, as many of you guys here who follow much of my talk when it comes to mechs know that I, I, I completely hate like Western aesthetics in these mechs here, like battle tech and everything like that. Make them look all blocky and yuck. No, I'm all for have function, have function takes priority over form. But battle tech have no form whatsoever. They're just function and my God, are they ugly and just not, they're not my thing. They're not my thing. Even though I'm, I am mean, interested in some mech war stuff. Yeah, yeah, but. That's either here nor there. That's either here nor there. We're, I'm here about this hardcore mecha, or code hardcore, which I have never heard about. Actually, I think I have heard about this before, but I never did anything. Never really did a video on it. Or maybe I did. I just forgotten so long. And I'm curious here. I'm curious to see what we got here. It's from uh, the Discord. The Discord member who told me about this is a mech fan himself, so that's already good. Oh, okay. I like the design. Mecha 2D. Oh, yeah. I'm... Okay, that's straight out of freaking Super Robot Wars. That design right there. I mean, it's gonna be a Gundam designer, or like, oh, Gun Gundam designer, everything like that, but. Yeah, designer, obviously, from Full Metal Panic, Inspiration. I'm seeing so much of that. Oh, with the eye, Optic. Oof. Nice movements right here. You know, normally I'm not big with the whole 2D things in Mecha, but for this, yeah, we gotta get more mech show, mech games, so I'll buy it. I'll play it. I'll enjoy the hell out of it. Okay, so we got the mode for where all right. Underwater, space battles, red cinematic cutscenes. Yeah, these things are beautiful actually. Oh god. The barrel lions like is uh cause of them like that, I don't know. Oh, Oh yeah, this cuts for all war vibes. Hardcore Mecha! Oh wow, yeah, coming soon. Can't come soon enough. Mega Toys! SD for, oh. <sighs> I 
I'm not that big into the super superior deformed figures and toys and such. Just give me the uh, real sized. I want a real sized command Gundam, and the real size. Wait, I think they made yeah they made a version Ka of the Knight Gundam, didn't they? I think they did. But yeah, I want more real sized stuff. <laughs> make some of the put make some of the SD Gundams real sized. I'll buy those in a heartbeat. Okay, so, yeah, clearly, I see obvious nods to the mech, mech designer, of course, of uh, Kino Kawara. I, I never remember the mech designer's names just because I'm really too lazy. And I, I try to, I don't know what I do. I don't know why. Because I'm, yeah, I'm too lazy, that's why. But, yeah, I see Gundam, obviously, Full Metal Panic. That's pretty obvious. I even some of these mechs remind me of uh Armor Trooper Votomes. Yeah, even like I see age designs in there with yeah, some age designs. It varies a lot here, but and that one with the eyes, yeah, definitely more super robot. I, for some reason reminded of Gadguard, which no, but it comes to mind the fastest. But yeah, this is so like as Super Royal War vibes here. Like I said, the 2D battlefield is eh, I I don't know why, but I never after the transition to 3D, I never really got back into the whole 2D style of fightings. I haven't been playing that many games that are 2D. Well, near Automata has those moments here, but they got a bunch of formats in that game. And I would I would have liked to have seen where, yes, the mech is actually not superior, not SD, but real size and everything. <sighs> Still, it looks great here. I will die. If this comes out in, Amer in America here, just here for the PS4, please let it be available in the PlayStation Store right now. I want to go on my PlayStation 4 right now, see if it's available, but I don't think so yet. Yeah, it's coming soon, of course, but it says right here. And it does. Oh, oh, we got something else here. Gimme! Gimme! <laughs> okay, wait. Thunderbolt? It's called a Thunderbolt? Okay, um, I know the, ter the word Thunderbolt is not trademark in any way, it can't be, but I don't know, I who owns Macross in Japan, um, who, is it Toei? I don't think it's Toei, but, um, Yeah, this is this will be confusing here. Like, when I, when I say Max and think Thunderbolt, I, well, I, Thunderbolt Sector full armored, uh, full armored Gundam from you know, Thunderbolt. But really, I think the VF Eleven Thunderbolt that which was in Macross Plus. We saw that at first the cool ass bayonetta in the freaking gun pod, and of course the Thunderbolt. Type C variant that just got constantly blown up and their cockpit, like, right to the hands of the bad guys <laughs> to be drained of spiritua. But that looks so nice. Full action metal skeleton figure. Oh, God. So, like, dark die cast. Oh, God. <laughs> Give me that. Oh. It's gonna. I want that. Is it gonna be like by, made by DX Chagok D like a DX Chagokin figure like the Macross stuff because this looks like it should be a Mac from made by the Macross people that makes the toys. Oh God, give it to me! Oh, it's so incredible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going crazy right now. I'm turning it off right there before I go. Just stop. Oh, give me. Comment below what you all thought. Like and subscribe for more videos. Until the next one. This is Mekasan. Logging out.